Well, hello there. In this video, I thought I could show you some uh, of the tasks that I got in an interview process because I think um, it could be useful for you if you start to look for a job in development. It could be great to see some examples of tasks that you could get in an interview process. And these are from uh, Swedish companies and uh, they are React based because it's uh, React development jobs that are done these tasks for. And also I won't show you the code for these ones because I don't think that the companies would like that if someone should recognize the tasks. So I won't go into code, but I will talk about the tasks a little bit. And you could hopefully get a feel of what you could expect in an interview process and the tasks the companies will try. give you. Okay, this time I'll try to have uh, myself as a little picture down below here, as you can see. Uh, yeah, don't know if you like to see me or not, but I'm trying that out to see if it works. So you have to stick with my face in this video this time. All right, so let's kick this off. I have three different examples here. And the first example is, yeah, it's a web shop that I built uh, in React. And the task was to build a shopping cart, but you have to also build something like this so you can add stuff to the shopping cart. Because the task was that you need to add things to your shopping cart, you should be able to remove them also. So if I add some stuff here, you can see this one wasn't in the task, but I added this as a special bonus. So it shows how many products I have, even if the shopping cart isn't open. So you can see we have the products here and the task was to show the products. You should be able to add and remove. It should calculate the price. This is in Swedish crowns, but I also did so you can change to Euro because they provided you with uh, some mocked data and there you had it both in uh, Swedish crowns and in Euro. So I also made that once so you can change the currency. Uh, and as you can see, you can remove stuff here and it will calculate everything in everything in real time here. And these are all endpoints that I hit to this mocked API that uh, they provided. So it's not kept in internal state only. It saves the data in the mocked up database. Okay. Uh, and I also made this uh, pretty responsive, I think. Let's have a look at that. Yeah. Yeah, it's responsive. This is uh, this was actually a kind of fun task to do. It's they demand a lot actually because if you have another job full time, it will be hard to create these kind of tasks because this is <laughs> almost a full blown web shop. Uh, so uh, yeah, it took some time to create this one, and it all, they also provided the the pictures and everything. But I had to do the design myself, so it was only the pictures on the products and the data for the products. So this is, uh, I think it's uh, kind of a fair task, actually, uh, maybe a little bit big, as I said, if you have a lot of other stuff going on that you have to do, it could be hard to find the time to create uh, yeah, stuff like this, because it will take some time. All right, then move on to the next one. And this one was um, another company that uh, a little bit, yeah, maybe a little bit simpler task, because... I got this uh, sketch design and I had to choose uh, some modules from that design that they wanted me to create in React. So I choose, uh, yeah, it's three modules. You have the menu up here, you have this module in the middle and you have this module at the bottom here. So I had to create all of this. And um, to be honest, it was mostly CSS in this one cause uh, as you can see, you had to create these gradients and you also had to create this chart. So I, found a library that does this for me because, yeah, <laughs> to be honest, CSS stuff can take a lot more time than to create something with React. Yeah, and it's also responsive. And it's uh, these little kind of uh, neat things here. Yeah, these are all control components in React I had to create. And of course, this stuff won't work because it's only these modules that I created. Yeah, I, I think this task was more of a task where they want to see how you can transform a design into code. Because, yeah, as I said, it was mostly CSS, even that it's React and you have these kind of control components. Yeah, of course, they wanted to see how you handle React and what stuff you do there also. Okay, the third and last one. This was a task that I got, uh, yeah, I think it's been a while now. You had to create a, a mock-up API yourself. Uh, and create uh, a light version of a message board. 
So I found some service on the internet where I could create the mock up API and I used that one. And then I used Auth0 for login. So if I log in here, uh, log in. And you can see we have this message board here. And unfortunately, the avatar is not working. There should be a picture of me also there. So you had some different uh, bullet points that you had to fulfill for this task. And the task was to create, uh, you should be able to show all or just show your messages. You should be able to create a new message. So I could do that here. Unfortunately, it is placed at the bottom because that API that I mocked up, I didn't have time to find where to sort it. Uh, because this stuff, if you're also in a little bit uh, stressful situation, you know you're in a, a, an interview process and you have to provide this uh, awesome stuff for them so they see the best of you. Yeah, it can be really stressful if you really, really want the job also. Still, I got the jobs, but they didn't offer me enough stuff for me to let my own company and my own course creating stuff go. So I turned the job offers down. Anyways... Uh, so you create these messages, then you can also comment. And this is one thing here you can see that I actually got really impressed with because I had the same component here and I use it recursively. So they didn't know themselves that you could use React components recursively. But React components are only functions, so you can use them recursively also. So this is the same component that I use here uh, for the comments as it is for the message itself. And I use it recursively if... There are comments, and if you should be able to comment, then I use the same co component as a child, as there is as a parent. Okay, so you can comment here. You can also change the stuff here and save that message. And you can hide the comments with this button. Okay. So this was also a fun task to do. There hasn't been a lot of challenges that hasn't been fun in an interview process. I actually really like doing these kind of tasks. This is uh, three tests that I showed you that Swedish companies has in their interview process. And hopefully this gave you some idea what to expect when you apply for a developer job as a React developer or a front-end developer.